right, military men. Are you ready to face God? If you die today, would you go to heaven or hell? Only Yeshua's blood can wash away sins. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through the Son. Abraham was promised a lamb. God himself said he would provide a lamb. Yeshua is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. You know, sin, it is what causes all the problems in this world. <coughs> and there's only one person that can forgive sins. God wants all of us to be saved. God is not willing that any perish, <coughs> but that all come to repentance. The God that formed the eyes, He sees. The God that planted the ears, He hears. God wants to save you. God sent Yeshua into the world to save the world. You don't have to go to hell. Nobody accidentally goes to hell. God is revealing Himself through creation. I've always believed there was a God my whole life. But I didn't want to obey God. Maybe you. Do you want to obey God? See, a lot of people come to Israel to find a homosexual. Or a lesbian. Yeah, they do. It's one of the biggest gay meetup places in the world now. Make me sick. Now you can be liberal about it all you want. But God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for sodomy. Not for unhospitality. Remember Lot's wife. Think about the Dead Sea. Lot's wife kicked the bucket right over there by the Dead Sea. And Jesus said, remember Lot's wife. Now Benjamin, uh, not, whatever his name is, your prime minister, he doesn't have a problem with sodomites. But the God of the Bible still has a problem with sodomites. And what matters is not what the prime minister says. It's what God says. And God says it's worthy of death. Wake up, Israel. You are seriously reaping what you have sown. Do you know Jesus Christ today? If you died today, would you go to heaven or hell? Huh? Are you ready to face your God? Because that was the very first thing I read today was from the book of Hebrews. It is appointed. That means there's an appointment. 
It is appointed unto man once to die, but after that the judgment seat. The most important day of your life is the day you die. And we got all this military walking by here, and I feel compelled to warn them and warn you. But just last week, we had four people killed in the military by some truck. You don't know when some crazy trucker's going to run through here and kill people. Jihad told them to start using their vehicles. That's why they're doing it. They think they're going to get some virgins. They might get male virgins. <laughs> well, wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny if the virgins they got were gay? Just thought that was a little funny. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to get 72 male virgins. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be killing for your God in the first place. Because God is love. And God doesn't want people to be killing each other. You know, if there were peace, uh, peace on earth, we wouldn't be having these conflicts. But it starts with sin. Sin separates us from God. How do you get back to God if sin separates us? You go through repentance. You go through the blood of the Lamb. Tennessee. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, the Bible says, What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Justin Bieber used to sing for Jesus on the streets of Canada. But then Holly Weird got a hold of him, turned him into a freak. With tattoos all over him. Oh, God wants to clean us up, people. God is not wanting us to be self-righteous. God is wanting to give us His righteousness. Jeremiah talked about the righteous one. The righteous king. Isaiah talked about someone born to a virgin called Wonderful. Counselor. Yes. Mighty God. Mighty God. What a mighty God I serve. What a mighty God I serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God I serve. Now I'd say we serve, but we don't all serve the same God. My God is healer. You read Isaiah 53, talking about the healer. The healer in the house today. There's a healer in the house today. Israel is not the healer. The dead rabbis are not the healer. There's only one. Oh, the whole Hebrew Scriptures is pointing to one. 
Yeshua, God's Son. One, number one. Number one, oh no. That's right. Born of a virgin. Your scriptures tell you God's going to send a son. God's going to send a Messiah. You just didn't like the one he sent. You said free Barabbas, crucify Jesus. Crucify him. Free Barabbas. Oh, I'm like Barabbas. I'm like Barabbas. I should have been the one in jail. I should have been the one hanging on the cross. Oh, but Jesus took my place. Yeshua took my place on the cross. He died. And God raised him from the dead. He's the atonement people. He is the blood atonement promised to you all the way back to Abraham. Abraham, I myself will provide a lamb. Well, Jesus is the lamb. Hallelujah. That's what John the Baptist said crying in the wilderness. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Most important prophet that ever lived. Jesus' favorite preacher, John the Baptist, got his head chopped off. See, they had people beheading all the way back then. Just because Jesus likes you doesn't mean you won't suffer.